Okay, coming to the uh, problem section okay so in the last class we studied about uh, what do you mean by um, minimum potential energy and what is the importance of minimum potential energy okay now in today class we will going to solve some numerical problems on uh, concept of what the uh, minimum potential energy okay so here we are going to solve uh, two numerical problems uh, so what that is what uh, based on that what minimum potential energy method okay so i told you what do you mean by minimum potential energy so same it is a it is what the summation of or it is the sum of strain energy plus work potential is called as strain energy okay where strain energy is equal to what the internal forces that is the inter that is will be stored in the internal system and the work potential is nothing but what the external forces which will act on the given uh, mechanism okay so that is called as work potential combination of those two we are going to call as uh, principle of this what the minimum potential uh, this what uh, potential energy okay in the module one we are uh, having the uh, three numerical problem that is the three different types of numerical problem okay first one is the type one that is problem that belongs to the uh, concept of this what the minimum potential energy and second one is the type two problem that is a Rayleigh Gridge method it is shortly called as a RR method okay and type three method is called as what a Galcaret method okay all these three topics are very important to solve the uh, problems okay that is what to uh, get the, the what these two pro these any type of problem may appear in the uh, examination okay so here in the today class we study uh, we will solve the some numerical problems on type 1 problem that is uh, minimum potential energy method okay look at this so before uh, reading this question so let me understand what once again that is what do you mean by potential energy okay so i told you potential energy is nothing but what it is a combination or it is a sum of strain energy plus work potential okay potential energy is denoted by what capital pi that we have to remember this equation okay to solve this type of numerical problems like first we have to derive the uh, 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 strain energy on the system that is a given system and total uh, potential work potential on the given system then combine we are going to get the potential energy okay so that is denoted by what pi so we have to derive the pi equation then you apply the boundary condition then finally you are going to uh, be apply the minimum potential boundary condition so you are going to get the final displacement that is unknown displacement they are uh, what they asked in the question okay so this is about the procedure for solving the minimum potential energy okay so here they have given question like this okay i will read the question now number one that is the problem number one so based on what minimum potential energy okay so here for the spring system shown in the below figure using the principle of minimum potential energy determine the nodal displacement okay so take the force f1 is equal to 75 newton in f2 is equal to 100 newton okay so here there will be a two forces are given okay that is what one force is here they given f1 is equal to here and one more force is f2 is equal to here okay so here the spring mechanism is given so how many springs are there here three springs are connected okay the k1 and k2 are connected in a, a series okay that is what if they are connected in parallel okay and here uh, once in between these two one for, for spring is there okay so k1 this k stands for stiff connection that is what a stiffness of the mat spring and d delta stands for deflection and u we are going to consider as a displacement okay so displacement at node number one displacement at node number u2 that is u2 okay so here uh, stiffness is given for spring one 15 newton per mm and k2 is equal to 16 newton per mm okay and k3 is equal to what 70 newton per mm okay these three springs stiffness are Given. okay so you need to calculate what the unknown displacement they are asking determine the nodal displacement so here how many displacements are there u1 and u2 okay so before solving this problem let me understand deflection that is what the delta 1 is equal to what you are going to consider and delta 2 is equal to what you are going to consider and delta 3 is equal to what okay so here the force is given f1 here suppose look at this diagram so one external force is acting on this okay if you apply force here f1 okay both the spring will display some deformation takes place here that is what delta 1 which is equal to u1 which is equal to delta 2 this is very important okay so i will repeat again if you up stretch here the at node number two so here deformation takes place okay of the both the spring delta one and delta two okay what do you mean by elastic body before okay so elastic body is nothing but what if you apply a force there will be stretch okay if you remove the force it will come original position that is called as elastic body okay delta 1 is equal to if you uh, remove here if you just apply delta 1 will displace that is delta 1 is equal to displacement u1 delta 2 is equal to u1 okay so here uh, where here also f2 is applying at node number 2 if you apply here force so here uh, displacement uh, f, uh, this what k3 spring also displacement takes place and here also takes place okay that is what delta 3 is equal to what u2 minus u1 okay so that we have to uh, assume here in this this is very important okay if you know that means you are going to understand if you are going to solve numerical on easily to solve this type of problem okay so now same so we know that uh, what the potential energy function is equal to what strain energy plus work potential okay so potential energy of the function is denoted by pi and which is same right down here strain energy plus work potential okay so normally we know the uh, standard formula for strain energy of the spring is equal to what half of k into delta square because this is a standard formula for uh, spring that is a uh, store energy that is a strain energy of the spring okay 
but here three strings are given so the total strain energy on the spring is equal to add all these things okay strain energy is equal to what half of k1 delta 1 whole square wherever is k1 is there put it uh, 2 3 okay half of k1 delta 1 square plus half of k2 delta square plus half of 2 k3 delta 3 square okay so this is the total strain energy acting on this given spring mechanism okay but we know that delta 1 is equal to what u1 so delta 2 is also u1 delta 3 is equal to u2 minus u1 how you got this if you apply force here so delta 1 will displace delta 2 which will displace at a what they given u1 so hence we are going to consider here delta 1 is equal to u1 delta 2 is equal to u1 okay similarly come to this if you apply force here uh, here displacement and here displacement takes place that is u2 minus u1 so right here delta 3 is equal to u2 minus u1 okay so this again you substitute in the above equation so the total energy in the system we have that is what half of k1 delta 1 in place of delta 1 u1 square plus half of k2 delta 2 is equal to u1 whole square plus half of k3 u3 minus u1 just substitute all the delta values in this above equation so you are going to get the total strain energy on the particular given spring mag that is a spring system okay so now you calculate this again go for calculating the work potential of the system okay so work potential of the system is equal to what so we have the two external forces okay so here two forces are acting okay so here that is what force one force two so f1 into displacement that is force of f1 into u1 minus f2 into u2 so here let me understand here so here uh, if the force acting uh, on the system is considered as positive if the work done by the system going to consider by negative sign so here work done by the system is minor there so we are going to consider the negative sign okay minus f1 or u1 plus f2 u2 if you take the bracket means plus if you remove the bracket means both the signs are negative okay so now once you calculated the work potential and the strain energy on the given system then you substitute these two equation in the the potential energy equation that is the first equations okay so if you substitute here again pi is equal to half of if you substitute there you are going to get like this okay so this equation is a2 a1 minus a, a minus b whole square okay so just you resolve this a square plus b square minus 2ab so you are going to get this again strain energy this is the work potential potential this is strain energy okay so again you resimplify this so total potential energy of the function is equal to what pi is equal to half of u1 whole square so here k1 is uh, if you take common u1 is equal to k1 plus k2 plus k3 plus u2 whole square k3 just to multiply this two okay so u2 k3 u2 square minus uh, 2 u1 u2 k3 minus of f1 u1 minus f2 u2 okay so this is the total potential energy function but our aim is to what to find the uh, unknown displacement here unknown displacement is equal to u1 and u2 so look at the, in this diagram potential energy function so u1 and u2 are the two unknowns are there so if the potential energy function is to be minimum so condition is you just differentiate with respect to u1 and differentiate with respect to u2 that is this is a condition okay so dou pi by dou u1 which is equal to 0 and dou pi by dou u2 which is equal to 0 so this is a deflection that is a what this is a condition for potential energy to be minimum okay so now differentiate this equation this equation with respect to u1 so you are going to get what dou pi by dou u1 is equal to half of 2 u1 into k1 plus k2 plus k3 minus 2 u2 k3 oh, bracket close minus f1 which is equal to 0 okay again this dou pi by dou u1 this goes this direction so that becomes 0 so we want the force f1 is equal to so this take the two common this two to get going to cancel so finally you are going to get final equation this so f1 is equal to u1 k1 plus u1 k2 plus u1 k3 minus u2 k3 so give equation number one okay so similarly calculate differentiate with respect to potential energy function with respect to u2 so that is dou pi by dou u2 so differentiate this equation with respect to u2 so we get we will get dou pi by dou u2 is equal to half of 2 u2 k3 minus 2 u1 k3 bracket close minus f2 okay this again goes to that side so it becomes zero so f2 is equal to minus u1 k3 plus u2 k3 so okay now we are we will understand this uh, equation from the equation number 4 1 and 2 so solving the equation uh, 4 and uh, this uh, this b and c you can denote any one 2 3 4 5 okay so if you uh, re simplify this uh, equation b and c so you will get u1 is equal to f1 plus f2 whole divided by k1 plus k2 okay so force is given 75 newton in the given question f2 is equal to also given spring value is also given k1 and k2 okay substitute you are going to get the displacement at node number 1 that is u1 is equal to 1.59 okay so that is what u1 is equal to 1.59 mm so if you apply force here so displacement takes place at what 1.59 mm it will displace it okay so again this value you can substitute here any one of the equations you are going to get what u2 is equal to 
3.019 okay so here displacement at node number 2 is what 3.019 uh, mm okay so these are the two uh, what these are the two displacement we calculated based on the given question okay so that is the total nodal displacement is equal to u1 of 1.59 mm and u2 is equal to 3.019 mm okay so like this you have to solve the numerical problems on based on minimum potential energy okay so i think you understand uh, this problem okay I will repeat again. So here, in this case, uh, it is very important to understand this. What, how to rem how to uh, apply this this deflection? How to assume the delta values? That's it. So remaining procedure is same. Okay, delta one is equal. To, if your node number four is applying here means. Uh, okay, if you apply means this will be uh, deformation takes place. That is here they given u1, delta 1 is equal to u1 and delta 2 is equal to u1. Okay, same here u2 they given. So here u1 and u1. If you apply force here, it will take displacement here and here. Okay, so that is u2 minus u1. Like this, you have to solve the numerical problems on potential energy function based on minimum potential energy. Okay, so finally you are going to get the answer u1 is equal to 1.59 and u2 is equal to 3.09. Okay. So I hope you understand the first problems belongs to minimum potential energy. Okay. So thank you.